So today we're talking about Revelation. And I love that wonderful reading, which we read when it is St. Michael's Day, which goes, Woe to you, O earth and sea, for the devil sends the beast with wrath, because he knows the time is short. So hello and welcome to The Silly Vicar Show and today we're answering a question from Alison Derwin who is the hilarious person who walked in on TGI Mondays yesterday. So if you want to see her face, watch the TGI Monday show from yesterday. And she asked me, what is the book of Revelation all about? Even I don't know. Now I'm a book for buddies about Christianity. I know! I'm even a dummy now. Well, that's right. So nobody knows what the book of Revelation is about. And I have to be honest here is because I've always loved metal music is the book of Revelation is one of the first books I actually read. And it is brilliant because it's so weird. Now, the first part of the book of Revelation is all a pile of letters. But the second part is a vision, loads and loads of weird visions, which are just completely barking mad when you read them. And that's what it's all about. It's about revealing what's going on. It's about unmasking the world and trying to tell a story about what's really going on in our world in a way which is beyond our comprehension, which is why a lot of the visions don't make sense. The other thing is, is that the visions only make sense in the context in which it is written. Now, my old uh, training incumbent, John Cree, went to Sierra Leone as a, as a missionary. And he said it was only when he was in the civil war in Sierra Leone, in the horror of that war, that the book of Revelation made any sense to him. That cosmic battle between good and evil. Those visions that speak of that cosmic battle between the good and the evil. The other thing that's in Revelation is the number 666. Who is that? 606. That's me, Nero Emperor. And I killed a bunch of Christians and I put them as candles. Isn't that great? No, it's not actually. It's actually terrible. And I'm wearing my party ones. And I'm partying to the song, The Number of the Beast. Check it out. <coughs> it's great. Yeah, thank you, Nero. That's who it is. 666 is a code for the Emperor Nero. And in the book of Revelation, there's lots and lots of different codes. Like Babylon isn't talking about Babylon. It's talking about the Roman Empire. Because the people who wrote it were at the time being massacred all the time by all these awful Romans who were killing them all the time. And they felt totally distraught as if they were in a maelstrom of pain and anguish. And they felt like their world was being taken over by evil. A bit like... Evil. <laughs> But like some people might feel now, if they were in a place like Syria, Book of Revelation, is that vengeance is wrong because God, in the end, will bring justice to our universe. That's what it's saying is that God will bring justice to our universe. And all those who commit these horrible things, we don't have to take vengeance on them because God will, through his justice, bring goodness back into our world. And we see that in our own history here in the UK is that the Vikings had a rule of vengeance. Da -da -da! Revengeance. And guess what? We invaded England. But then we got invaded again. Who was it again? Anglo-Saxons? Anglo-Saxons. Anglo. We despise and we curse them. So in the Viking world, we had this idea that if someone hurt you, you should, by duty, take revenge on them. And that created a cycle of violence that went on and on and on and <laughs> on until everything around them was destroyed. And then the Anglo-Saxons brought in the idea of Wurgild and Botgild, where we said that vengeance is not the way, justice is the way. And the ultimate arbiter of justice is God. Because evil cannot, cannot win, because evil by its nature will destroy itself. And that's what Revelation is about. It's about unmasking 
the battle around us and seeing what's really going on and seeing that evil cannot win. So thanks for watching. And don't know what I'm talking about next week yet, but please, if you've got any more comments, any questions, put them in the comments and I'll have a go at answering them in our own unique, wonderful way. And don't forget... Bodhijizu! So it got a bit chaotic at the end there, got a bit weird, but uh, at the end of it all, that wonderful verse from Revelation, Woe to you, O earth and sea, for the devil sends the beast with wrath, because he knows his time is short. And that's what it's all about. The time of evil, its time is short, because God conquers all evil in the person of Christ. And don't forget, Bobbly Jesus, Bobbly Jesus, and uh, for my unvert subscriber or like on Facebook, only got a few more to go now. I'll give you the bobbly Jesus if you're the lucky winner. And check out the end of the video where my Andrew does his own wonderful rendition of that part of the beginning of The Number of the Beast from Iron Maiden, where he does, Woe to you, O earth and sea, in his own unique way. So see you next week. Woe to you on earth and sea. As the devil sends the beast with wrath, he knows the time is short. You reckon fill the sand and you reckon the number of the beast. When it is the human number, it's not the six hundred and sixty-six. <laughs> so thanks for watching the Silly Vicar Show. Uh, if you liked it you want to see more, subscribe underneath. And thanks to Andrew for being our production assistant today and helping us with all the different special effects. And as well, if you like it, like me on Facebook, Instagram, or read my blog at the bottom. So see you next week.